Hello everybody, my name is Danny Cottle. I'm working on a project to post 1,000 musical videos to social media, okay? So, uh, this video, I want to show you how to make a guitar mute, okay? Because, as you can see, we're in an office, right? And with uh, the op office atmosphere, we have neighbors on each side of us that are trying to conduct business as well. So, uh, when I'm practicing, creates, uh, you know, a sound that uh, probably isn't conducive to a office atmosphere. So what can we do about this? How can we find a solution to continue to practice, but keep the volume level down? And um, I learned a cool little trick in college um, up at Portland State University, and um, this is what we need to make a guitar mute. We need a mouse pad scissors and maybe just a little something to um, mark some uh, some guidelines okay so check this out we have the guitar right here okay so what we're gonna do we're just gonna lay the guitar uh, or we're gonna lay the mouse pad over this okay and um, and what we can do is I'll take something like this and I'm not even going to where are we at? I'm not even going to take the pin out and so since I already have a line here a nice straight line I'm just going to go to this side figure out where I want it um, actually what I'm probably going to do is is make a line here probably because I don't I don't necessarily want the curved line in there and so that will be one side and then the other side okay so all I did here was I made I made two lines and all these are doing these indicator lines are just to overlap the strings okay I don't want them to be right on the strings I want them to overlap just a little bit okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut I'm just gonna cut a little bit and you I'm just my goal is just to make a rectangle and it doesn't have to be uh, it doesn't have to be thick at all right um, and I know how long it's gonna be so check this out Okay, so we got it, right? So this is the first part. So when we lay it on here, it's gonna fit just over the strings and there's a little overlap, okay? A little overlap. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is now with our pen again, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm just gonna go right, okay. I'm gonna go right uh, over the strings right here. Okay, so the lines that I make now are going to go directly over the strings. Okay, I got my E. I'm going backwards, so this will be my B string. This will be my G string. This will be my D string. This will be my A string will be my E string. Okay. So like I said, it's nothing fancy. So that's I, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going I'm just going to make some slits and um, they don't have to be very deep either. I'm going to try to make them even though. And keep in mind that the strings are different thicknesses. So, there I go. I'm going to make them just a little bit deeper.
Okay. That's it. So now we just now the way way that we did that. So this is going to be the E string, A string, and this it just will just fall right into place. And so now when we play, we have you hear that? Oh, hey, hey, I just kicked the camera. Sorry about that. Okay, so now when we play. Now we've got a, a instrument that's appropriate for an office. It's not just appropriate for an office, it's appropriate for any uh, type of uh, environment where, um, you know, loudness could disturb other people. And it's a, uh, we could get an effect of a staccato. Right? I think this would be appropriate for church. Uh, this would be appropriate for um, uh, anything really, right? Because there's a, it's how you play as well, but there's there's a reverence because it's not loud. Um, if you got any questions whatsoever, uh, just let me know, um, and hopefully you get some sort of value out of this uh, this video. And that's how you make a guitar mute.